Yeah, before before we do the presentation today, we're gonna let them play it again, okay? All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we do the presentation, that's just so so so. I am um, just touched today. It's Mother's Day, and um, I got a lot of mamas. I got a lot of mamas, y'all. Some that are here, some that are not here. But everyone brought me to where I am, and that's in God. And when you think about the people in your life, along with your paternal mothers that brought you to God, it only brings tears to your eyes because yes, yes. those are the people that did it and they didn't have to. Amen. Those are the ones. Think about the people that added to your life as the role of a mother and they didn't have to you know um i got a lot of people mama florence i mean <laughs> mama joe mama adams mama frankie my mama um uh, missionary irma has been a mama to me at times Oh, no, 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 he carried away. He carried away. Yeah. Let me see, see, because the bottom line is one of us got to be dead. If I'm going to be a daddy, we can't be mom and dad at the same time. It ain't Father's Day. <laughs> but just think about the people that added to your life. And then, this is when you really mature. When you think about the men that gave you a love you didn't understand it, you would have expected to come from a woman, huh? Anybody hear me? Think about the people that have, man. I remember Miss Farrell down the street, Larry Farrell's mother. I mean, I'm just thinking about the people in this neighborhood that, yeah, Miss Rogers and Miss Hart. I was sitting here crying because I'm thinking about Lincoln Park and 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 and, and Miss Copeland and Miss Brown. And, I just can't, you know, I don't want to, I want to preach, I don't want to cry, but keep going, I'm going to cry instead of preach, amen? Because yeah. I am not standing here today without them either yelling at me, or some of them put the bell on me that wasn't my mama, and, um, and I say thank you today, amen? amen? Father, we come in the name of Jesus, we come with a declaration of celebrating mothers. Celebrating a celebration that goes beyond every celebration in this world except you, Father. Because in that place, you chose to create a life that would be later on celebrated by you. In the womb of a mother. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for this chance to honor all mothers. Because every name that I, I named is still yet living. They're living in heaven with you and they're living on earth to those they affected while they were here on earth. And for that we say thank you. So now Father as you get ready to show us the power of heaven we've never ever seen before. We say thank you and amen, amen. and amen, amen and thank you. Amen? amen. Time of our sermon today when I look back at the scriptures just two weeks ago, I preached on these same verses. And I was going to change them, but God said, um, if this is what I want to do, let me do what I want to do. Amen? Amen. So we're, we're, our scripture reading is coming from verse John, verses 14 through 24. 14 through 24. And the title of our sermon, look at your neighbor, said, neighbor, neighbor, still in love. Still in love. Amen. A house is not a home. Still in love. Hallelujah. Still in love. Still, thank you, baby. In love. Uh, 
that one can ask for than to live after what Eve did. Anybody hear me? So then God said, this is my prize. This is my prize. And, and Pastor Lisa read a scripture this morning and it touched me. He said, the man, the, the man and his wife. Anybody hear him? She said, the man and his wife. I said, wait a minute. God came looking in the garden for the man and his wife. When I heard that, I said, wait a minute. The opposite of the wife is husband and the opposite of the Man is woman, but he didn't say man or woman. He said man and a husband and no man and wife. Then it then it made me realize that the wife is the prize. Come on now, come on. The wife is the focal point because now God says if you want a wife, you got to be willing to take care of her man. If I got that. Her man. See, y'all talking about husband. He's looking at her man. Any children that, watch this, that comes out of this woman that you want. Anybody hear me? I don't want to point to. If you, I don't want to either. You already got to. If you want this woman, you got to be willing to take care of her man. Come here, man. Come here, man. Whole man, come here. All four of y'all, come up here. Come on, come on, whole man. This is Mother's Day. And this is a this is a band that came from his wife. Uh-huh. Now, if he's gonna be the provider and the take care of her that God says he's supposed to be, he ain't just looking to take care of him and her. He got to be willing to take care of the man. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Anybody hear me? So he said, man and wife. You ain't no, you ain't no husband until you're willing to take care of her and the man. Oh my God. Right now. Uh, Come on now. You ain't no husband. You 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 a husband to be until y'all get a bad member. That was somebody. <laughs> y'all hear me? Huh? And, and, and then and then sometimes, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Then sometimes. You 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 step you get with the wife and she already got band members. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody, anybody hear this? Yeah. So so yeah. whether they are your band members yeah. or she already got band members, uh-huh. if you are a husband, it don't matter. That's right. That's right. Cause husband says take care of her band. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all better sit down. Y'all better sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, am I educating right now? Uh, educating, all right. <laughs> so, and and the problem is, it's easier when 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 it's my me and her band, huh? It's easier to love what I see in my seed. Uh, and Jimmy got an advantage over Pastor because because that's his seed. Fool yourself. Huh? The seed is nothing more than that which is provided for where God seeded the one to take, take care of what he seeded. Anybody hear me? Take care of what he seeded. You ain't seeded nobody. If your seed was just that potent, dig around, you wouldn't have one dollar, you have a hundred dollars. Anybody hear me? I'm trying to say PG here. Do you know how much wasted seed there is according to man? Huh? So if your seed, if it was your seed, your seed would work all the time. Thank God it don't, huh? <laughs> but because it is not your seed, it works when God wants it to work for what he wants to create. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. It is not your seed. It was never a matter of Maureen. 
Maurice Alvarado. It was a matter of she was put here by God for Maurice. And thank God for Alvarado. But we cannot see things so, so plainly because we're caught up in being mamas and daddies. Not mothers and fathers. A mother. Love cannot be interrupted. A mama's love can. Just because you bore the child and carried the child don't make you a mama. A mother. It makes you a mama, but not a mother. Because when I'm a mama, um, I'll go so far. But then when I'm a mama, there's a place that's far enough. I'm not going to go any further. But when I am a mother, I'll fall off the cliff for what God let me bring into this world. Amen. I'll fall off the cliff. I'll go up the stairs, and I'm over here. My baby's in trouble. I ain't got time to get down the stairs. The mama's going to run over to the stairs. Just wait on, baby, I'm coming. Amen. Hang on, baby, I'm coming. Mama going, mama going, and then mama, no, mama doing, hoping somebody get there and <laughs> save you so she don't mess up her health. <laughs> but a mother, a mother ain't caring about no stairs in 20 stories. Mama going to jump if the only thing going to save her baby is her jumping. That's what you're talking about, a love that is still. A love that is still, a love that is immovable. A love, a love that is not trained or, or, or prepared by man. A love that, that, that has no understanding. A love that says, I, I, I'm still in love with you. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, I'm still. You don't believe it? Gosh, I'm going to try you, ladies. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to try you, ladies. I'm going to try you. I heard Eve say, thank you, Lord, for letting me live. Thank you, Lord. I know you could have killed me and got, again, you could have got out of another woman, but, but thank you, Lord. Gosh, I don't thank you yet. I showed you that no matter what, I still love you. No matter what you do to me, Adam. My God. My God. I showed you. I didn't replace you. See, when we run around here, we're not, we're not in love through God. That's why we're so easily replaceable. Come on, Adam. Come on. And when I say replaceable, I'm not talking about the one that was replaced. I am the replaceable one because when I call myself replacing somebody, it is I that has been moved. Anybody hear me? Yes. Man, you got so many. Just, you know why your suit all red like that? Because you don't cut, man. I don't, I don't bled all over it. <laughs> so, brother, uh, but still in love. Now, God said, woman, do you love me? He told, he told, he told, he told the man, if you love me, be my lamb. Woman, do you love me? He told the man, if you love me, feed my sheep. Woman, do you love me? He told the man, feed my sheep. He said, woman, if you love me, bear my children. Yes. Not one time, but over and over and over and over. Some of y'all have only had one child, but guess what? You're part of the over because what? You heard about you heard about the torment of childbirth. But you went over and past the torment and yet had a child. It is not the fact that you had a child. Dogs and pigs and, and cows have child. Children. They have no choice. But you have a child with a choice. 
and you told to have a child. After she told you, it was all on like, damn, girl, you don't know. Girl, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If having that baby you laying out, stressed out, you're all stressed out, it feel like you're dead. And you don't even know the pain that you can't even describe. And you done heard of it. Did you still have that baby? Oh my God. You know why you had that baby? Epidural. Too far. <laughs> no, I had that baby? Because you want to tell God, God, even after all this pain, my love for you is real. Amen. Amen. Even after all this pain, my love is proven. Yes. And now, now that my love is proven, what proved my love, I would kill somebody over it. Do you hear me? Huh? Anybody hear me right now? Go on, sit down. I can't have no more. Listen to me. Listen to me. So, after the baby, the woman still loves God. And you ever notice something? Now the man could have did what he did without God. Am I right? Yeah. But if you've ever been in a, a, a delivery room with a woman that loves a man that has uh, put child in her, she don't say nothing about hating God. <laughs> Why would she hate him? <laughs> huh? Yeah. In that moment, the guy did her some divorce people in the delivery room and they divorced. You hear me? It's your fault. Yes. Man, it is. So what I'm saying here is, there was never a stop of not loving God in this process, but I know God did it, but I'm going to blame it on what he said to do it to me. Right. Right. Anybody hear me right now? Still in love, but our problem is, we turn this thing around and, and, and we take it from God and we, we, we'll, we'll do whatever, we'll blame whoever, we'll do whatever to keep the blame off of God, but then we turn ourselves into our own gods because we'll do, we'll do whatever and blame whatever to keep the blame off ourselves. My Lord, my Lord. Huh? I'm still in love with me. Even if you got to go, baby, it's all about me. I'm still in love with me, no matter how it go down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love me. Y'all, y'all, we all, all, all said I love me some me. Come on now, I love me some KK. You look so good today, girl. Beautiful, beautiful. You love yourself. I ain't gotta tell you that you love yourself some KK. Anybody hear me right now? Still in love. In other words, the picture I'm trying to paint right now is that, do you know what a mother gave up for you? I'm going to be in future because they got a whole side by the way. We got it. We with you. Amen. Do, you know, do you know what a mother gave up for you? What? Huh? What's I understand a mama, but do you know? It, 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 I wonder, I'm like, my grandmama had 13 kids. I said, why 13? I talked to her this morning. She said, you needed every one of them mamas and daddies. All, all my children at one point was a mama and daddy for you, and you need every one of them. Matter of fact, I should have had two more for you. I had, I had two uncles, one uncle that showed me what to do, and I didn't spend much time with him. And I had another uncle that showed me what not to do, and I didn't spend much time with him. But the other 11, except for Uncle Joseph, who died in childbirth, but the other 10, all of them kept me at some point. Anybody hear what I'm saying? I needed just that much work. And the one that showed me what not to do was Uncle Calvin. Bless his soul, he gone. He, 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 he'll tell you yourself, he told him. I'll put it this way. <laughs> Uncle Calvin was not scared of prison. My Lord. Uncle Calvin was on death row one time. I'll tell y'all the story. He was on death row one time, and they called my uncle Jason. They said, well, we, we got to notify a family member. 
that we are we are we are um, we're about to execute Captain Cut. He said, "Well, okay, um, can I?" I'm just basically always praying. Can I say a short prayer for my brother over the phone? He said, "No, you can't talk to him, but I'll, I'll deliver the prayer." Well, are you ready to tell my uncle what that man said? So Uncle JC prayed for Uncle Calvin. And as soon as he got through praying, God answered prayers. Because Uncle Calvin knocked on the door. Oh, wow. My God. He stopped Uncle JC, go to the door. He said, Calvin, wait a minute. They just called me and told me they executed. They got some fool they think it's me. I done played in my arm band with him and he died. And I'm, 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 do I look dead?
but it was not the mother that did it. She had the same power that Jesus had in Calvary. It's the love of God that carried her through it. Right. Yes. The love of God right. that, that carried her through it. You're coming out of her in a, in, a, in a manner in which you ain't got no business coming out of her. I'll put it this way. A square peg coming out of a round circle, or a round circle coming out of a square peg, but the square peg is bigger than a round circle. You ain't got no business coming out except the love of God will bring you through. You know, I hear what I just said. Loud and clear. It makes no sense. Right. Mama Jeremy, right. you walked around for nine months with her in your stomach. Now look, all that came out of you. <laughs> Pastor Lisa, you walked around for nine months with Kit Tyler in your stomach. All that came out of you. How? Did another human being bigger than the exit place? Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. How did another human being bigger than the exit place come out of the exit place? Yeah, it's just the love of God. We're working. This long folk church today, y'all, 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 y'all children ain't about to grow up today. This long folk church. Hey. Hey. Anybody hear me? Yeah. In the rationale. It makes no sense. I can see. Give me a cup. I can see this water coming out of this bottle because this water makes sense. It flows out of the water. I can see. Is your purpose? Huh? I can see the water, the bottle coming out of the purse because that makes sense. But I can't see the person coming out of the box. Ah! Amen. It makes no sense. That's right. That's right. It makes no sense for, for something to be running around in your stomach for nine months, scaring you to death. I don't know how to do it. Nine months. I got, it's just like waiting on a whooping. You got what I'm saying? I know, I know what was coming in this room. I know God going to come and take this out of me one day. And I know it's going to be painful. And then you best not need it four times. How many times you did? Three. Three. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> Nine months on your whooping from God. Yes. That you owe the Eve. Because yeah. God wanted to know, after I whoop you, are you still going to love me? Did you ever beat her? No, she was, she was not one time. Even, even that, one. Not one time. Ah! Huh? Maybe one. Nobody's perfect. No, no. Did you ever beat her? Did you beat her one time? Yeah, she did. But I want to ask you something. <laughs> yeah, <she did. laughs> they, they, they forget when they get Yeah, they got When they get younger, they yeah. forget <laughs> when, we get younger, when we get younger, we forget, you know. But the, the bottom line is this. Why didn't she jump on you? I, 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 hear what I'm saying? If somebody hit you the way your mama done hit you, come on now. I don't care how big they are. They're big enough and I can't whoop them. They're going to wear that chair. Come on now. Talk to me. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Speak it. Speak it. Huh? Yes, Lord. The woman said, the woman I saw, heaven put on you the one that I said, I, I just used to, I, I used to go, I said, heaven, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but this one right here. She was three different ones, so I'm up and so down together. I, I, I tried to stop her, but she got on this one like she didn't want to stop. And he's like, okay, heaven, okay. I right, better be too mad, calm down. I can go bring it up. But all that fighting, all that y'all heard, how bad she was, she never was stupid. And stupid had nothing to do with it. She never wanted to harm, watch this, 
when she knew loved her. Anybody hear me? Huh? I had to beat them. Yeah. I ain't beat them. I ain't beat the boys. I, I really didn't. I didn't beat them. I made men out of them. I used, I used to line up. When one of them got, did something wrong, I get all three of them and line them up. Remember that? And bust y'all in the chest. Remember that? <laughs> I ain't get no belt. Belt? Come on, Jay. I ain't get no belt. If he did something wrong, I got Rodney and Craig said, come here, come on, Jay. I get Rodney and Craig, if you're a football player, now you should be able to handle this. Yeah, uh, if you can't handle this, now you don't need to be on the Coconut Creek football team. I used to line them up. The pinky about that stretch. Don't be hit my grand. No, don't hit my brother too hard. Pinky about that stretch. No, I don't hit my brother too hard. But I used to lie when one of them did something wrong. I got all three of them. So I didn't keep them in check. They kept each other in check. Yes, amen. I got all three of them. I put them on their knees, and and I and I and I told them close their eyes. And Craig used to be so funny. Craig used to be that. Man, go to hit me, man. Go to hit me. I sit there for like three minutes and watch him. Man, stop, man. Stop, man. Just go to get him. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll punch him. Hey, what? What kind of son of a Somebody to blame God. Blame, blame, so we don't put it on who? God. Still in love. I need you to find a way today. Read that, um, I think it's about verse 16, of uh, verse, try verse 18, 19, and 20. Read those from me. Praise the Lord. Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let's not each other. I know KK and Kyle love each other. Because they fight like cats and dogs, but they don't kill one another. Huh? They don't say they love each other. They show it on the other side of the argument. Anybody hear me? Huh? Y'all say y'all love each other. But, but guess what? You don't show it on the other side of the argument because you go tell somebody that's in the church about the argument and what you would have did if you... If, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. 
Read that again. Dear children, let us not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth. Let's go back to the 70s. Let us show the truth by our actions. Let's go back to the 70s. Let's go back to the 80s. Let's fight and then play. Let's fight and then play. We, we were mad, but I'm going to show you that I was mad. I'm going to show you I love you. Anybody hear me? Let's fight and then play. Let me be able to tell you the truth and then we'd be all right. Still in love. Mama's taught us this. You know who caused mama's greatest pain? It ain't the daddies. They expected us the daddies to be grown. It's covering for us, for our children. Having a lie because it's my child. It's all right. Children, you call your parents, you cause your parents more, more, more grief than anybody. You cheated it to her. I did it to my parents. My kids did it to me. When they come out, they're going to be the first black president. Oh, I'm going to be y'all that. Y'all going to get a new one. Huh? Man, do you know the disappointment I thought I was to my family? Sitting in prison for 13 months? Do you, do you realize the disappointment I thought I was? And that's where the devil grabs us. He wants you to fall in water and the disappointment of letting others down. Because if he can get you to fall in water and the disappointment of letting others down, you'll never meet God. You'll never meet God. Because as long as I'm concerned about the disappointing others, I don't have no time to focus on God's grace and mercy. Anybody hear me? Amen. God allowed you to live and wallow in your disappointment. There was no disappointment that, that did not get permission from God. That's been a part of your life. But as long as you're focusing on, I should have been, and I should have did, and if I, if I had not done this, or if I had not done that, God said, I put you, put it in your life, fool. And you didn't do it anyway. You didn't do it anyway. God did it. Yes. To show you that you have a, a love for something greater than Him. And your focus was on your disappointment of them and missing the grace and mercy coming from Him. Come to tell you today. Man, Jesus, come to tell you today. Take that love of that mother. You lied to her. She fed you. She beat you. She fed you. Take that disappointment of that mother. You made her mad. She beat you and fed you anyway. If a mother can have it anyway, what do you think God has? If a mother can have it anyway, what do you think God got? And see, the sooner we get to God, the sooner we get our children to God, the less they have to deal with it anyway. They deal with it anyway because they, they have an alternative other than who? God! I am exactly where God wants me. Help me out. The bar, come on. Kamari. Kamari is a perfect fit for KK. And KK is a per perfect fit for Kamari. 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 Damari. Jamari. Samari. No, no, no. We don't need multiples. It's only one. What is it? Kamari. Kamari. Okay, Kamari. Kamari. Tomorrow. He's a perfect fit for my granddaughter. I worried about her. I really did. I worried about her. I worried. I said, Lord, there's no man going to put up a kick. <laughs> and then he sent a beautiful 
problem. A brother that's not consumed with himself, so can't take, take, take all the consumptions he needs. But at the same time, he has changed something. I'm trying to show you what love will do. Now, when it's something that it's time to do something for a commodity, it's a commodity. There's nothing KK won't do and forget herself. That's her nature already. But to see her operate in the extreme like that for somebody else, it was because God placed somebody in her life that will bring out what's in her that we could not see and what's in her that we could not see is the living God. And what I'm trying to say to you right now, what you could I ain't got that much money. Don't do it, don't do it. Please, 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 uh, I, 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 I said, when people come, that's why I'm going to man in church. He's talking about you. Oh, see, I mean, I'm on Facebook. They talk about. But when you see the wonder of God, you can't help but be a witness of it. You hear me? Yeah, amen. And on this Mother's Day, I want you to know ah! I want you to know. Can we go somewhere? And I can end this. On this Mother's Day, I want you to know, if God can bring a, 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 a Jimmy out of here, if God can bring a Nisi out of here, if God can bring a Sean out of here, huh? Something that you, see, when she was born, she never imagined having a Jimmy, Nisi, Sean, Sean, Jimmy, Nisi, Jimmy, Nisi, Sean, Sean, Jimmy, Nisi. Never imagined. But they all came from here. Same place, different times, different occasions, different seasons. Never seen three kids living in three different worlds, but different worlds. <laughs> if he can do that, He's letting you know if they can come out of there, I can live there. Amen. If they can come out of a woman, he can live in a woman. Amen. And if he's living in a woman, he cannot not live in a man because the man, the woman came out of the yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Do you hear what I just said? If God can bring them three out of here, why can't he live here? Amen. I've been telling, I said, God hit me yesterday and wake up with Jesus. We've been taught wrong. He said, I know we're here. Yeah, I've one more, 30 more seconds and I was going to get it. Now you know he ain't got but a minute and a half on the hills. I got it in the car. But anyway, I told him something as I leave you here. We've been taught to be like Jesus. Oh, everybody got to be Christ-like. Everybody, you ain't got to be Christ-like. You can't be Christ-like. You couldn't take that book. Mm. Mm. But Jesus took it for you. Come on, this, this is the one I want right now. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus took it for you. Why did Jesus take it for you? Because he knew they were coming to beat you. He knew the closer you got to God, the more they were not going to like you. I know how hard it is. <laughs> you right in? Yeah. You left in? I'm on, I'm on the right side. But, but hear what I'm saying. The problem is this. We've been taught by religion. Amen. Look at my... my 
my own head hooks your prayer for the bread. Say that, don't hit him like that no more, friend. I just I know that look. <laughs> but I say that to say this. We've been taught all our lives to be like Jesus. Am I right? Uh-huh. I can show you three, four times in the Bible. When Jesus came back in the garden, I told you yesterday. Uh-huh. Mary Michael was in the garden. You know that? Mm-hmm. She didn't recognize him, did she? Well, I, I, I like you don't recognize me every time I tell you. <laughs> but anyway, and then when the two men were walking outside the city, remember that? And, and they walked with him for miles, and when, when he broke the bread, they said, oh my God. It was the way he broke the bread that they ran. He didn't look like the Jesus they knew. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, and then, and then, this is so beautiful. He said, instead of, instead of you trying to look like me, know that I'm going to look like you, but I want you to be me. Anybody caught that? Amen. Jesus is going to look like you. And when he said, when I look like you, it's because you're close to my father, and now they're coming after you, but now I need you to be me so they can see my father. It's not about us looking like Jesus. It's about us being like Jesus as he looks like us. And still love. Anybody hear that? Thank you for sparing me, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence, that is the evidence of the sermon, still love. <laughs> still in love. She lied on me. Jesus so loved the world. Amen. She spit on me. Jesus so loved the world. They spit on him. Amen. She cursed me out. Jesus so loved the world that he still loved the cursor. He still loved the liar. And above all, he still loved the spitter. Now, if I spit on you, and you spit back on me and then tell me you love me, I don't believe you. If I lie on you, then you lie back on me and then you tell me you love me, I don't believe you. If you curse me out, if I curse you out and then you curse me back out and you then tell me you love me, I don't believe you. So who in this church can believe somebody loves them? Other than God. Somebody that not retaliated at some point in their life. Have you ever, is there one in this church that has not retaliated, cut somebody out who cut them out? Not raise your hand. Lied on somebody who lied on them. God still loves you. But he said, but next time, be like Christ. Be the lamb. Be the sacrifice. And you learn that from your mothers. They are lambs. They are sacrificed. Because they have gone hungry at times. I remember my wife, y'all talking about my wife, and and, 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 and and addressing and whatever, whatever. If y'all knew the sacrifices this lady made when, when the kids were in school, I ain't never seen nobody dress up from the seventh name of the Lord and look like they just come out of Macy's. That was her. But them kids was always shot. You hear me? They were always shot. Why? That's a mother. I was on the elevator not long ago. Boy, the lady was on the elevator, her hair was, y'all call it fleet, flight, fleet, whatever. What is it? Fleet. On, on what? 
He a tight word. That, that word. And, the, and the baby hair was all oh my God. And I say, my, how can a how can a mother do that? Learn from your mother's saints. Men, show that motherly love. Because it's not the motherly that's important, it's the love. Sons, show that sonly love. It's the love that's important. Daughters, fathers, right. same thing. Right. And nobody teaches us the eloquence. Come here, Angel. Come here. Come here. No one teaches us the eloquence of love. Like a mother. You hear me? Nobody teaches love like you. You're a mother made created by God. Amen. You're not perfect. And kids are not perfect. But you live in the perfect love of your creator. So he will make what he will make your unperfect perfect if you keep serving him. As a mother. Hello, somebody. Amen. Anybody blessed today? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Oh, Lord, I forgot. Last time I let you say something, I ain't get my mic back. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you will get it by today. Uh, uh, just yeah, she said today. <laughs> go right there, go right there. Amen. It's just a blessing to be here. Amen. You know, when, I, when I come back to, to Florida, I say, I have a church home. You know, Amen. When I go That's to right. California, I say, I have a church home. And I just, I, I really love you, you guys. We love and you the, the pastor and his beautiful wife, and she's just as sweet as she can be. I just, it's just a pleasure to just be back here with you guys. Amen. And to be here with my baby Shea. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, um, I'm just thankful. Amen. God has have allow, uh, have allowed me to enable me that I still can come back and visit. And um, I'm really happy about that. Amen. I'm really happy about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bless the honor. Y'all see, see how you treat Roy? See how you treat Roy? You walk into a seat. I'm going to close this with a note. I want y'all to consider this. As a young man today, two days ago he lost his mother. Oh my God, God, don't forget. Be careful how you treat not just your mother, but people. God will plant an image in your mind that you don't ever want to remember. You hear me? But the beautiful thing about this particular brother, when it came to the love of his mother, he threw his pride away. Y'all hear what I just said? Amen. When it came to the love of his mother, he threw his pride away. I need everybody to do me a favor. If your mother's gone to glory, and she's right here right now, look at her and, 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 and just throw a kiss. Just throw a kiss. Throw her a kiss. Amen. But turn around and throw your mama a kiss, girl. You say, if she's here, I'll come on the board. Throw her a kiss. Amen. Amen. Because you know what? The one in glory might be saying, baby, don't worry. You, you soon come. And the one you're with might soon be gone. And you know what you're going to be sitting here talking about? How could I not have done what my mama asked me to do when she was here? How could I have yelled at my mama to Because this may be the last time. I, 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 I 
I was scared the other day when they had the bomb threat at the school with Jaden. That could have been the day. And, that, and and you don't know you don't know when you're gonna see somebody. You, some people kids went to school and they never saw them again. Pastor Lisa could be driving to work and and, 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 and somebody proud child home from one to one and we never see her again. But the bottom line is, remember this may be the last time. Give them the love of a mother. And that is an understanding that makes no sense. That is the forgiveness, even before it happens. Consider whatever words you're saying to your mother might be the last word you say to her. My brother Mike had to watch his mama floating in a lake for 40 minutes, drowned already. Never knew the last time he saw her, the next time he would see her like this. Two days before Mother's Day. Can you imagine where he's at right now? I'm praying for the brother with all my heart. And, and you know what? You know what's going to happen? And I hear, I hear, I hear Sister Wanda, y'all know Sister Wanda Robinson, she used to go to church here. Mm -hmm. I hear Sister Wanda say, Bishop, it's okay. Because God told me this is what it was going to take to bring him to him. Bring him to him. And as seen the mother that she was, she said, well, take me. If that's going to get him to you. Anybody hear me today? This may be the last time. I see you people care. I want y'all, I, I want y'all to remember the last time y'all saw Bishop, y'all had me for some money. <laughs> I want y'all to remember the last time y'all saw Bishop, y'all would give a Bishop some money. I know what I would do. Everybody blessed today? Amen. Maybe the last time, I don't know. This may be the last time. This may be the last time, brother. This may be the last time. Last time. Last time. I don't know. I got. I, I, I gotta let me go. I'm gonna go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Sing it, Bishop. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Over in Parkway, I'm gonna let it shine. Over in LA, I'm gonna let it shine. Down in Lauderdale, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. But above all, what we're gonna let it shine? At the Spirit of Jesus, we're gonna let it shine. At the Spirit of Jesus, we're gonna let it shine. Come on. At the Spirit of Jesus, let me see if we got some white people in church. Come on. At the Spirit of Jesus. <laughs> We're gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Y'all blessed today. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to you. I thank God for you. Whatever you go through, still be in love, okay? Still be in love, because this may be the what? That's right. Jesus. The tomorrow is not promised to nobody. And then man, I promise you it ain't going to be, be no tomorrow. It's five years later, ain't it? Huh? Man, I promise you it ain't going to be no tomorrow. And Sister Geraldine is here five years later. Amen. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Maybe we have a Pastor. Y'all enjoy the Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen, amen. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless the man of God that you use today, hallelujah, to bring forth a word, amen. He was your mouthpiece, your microphone today, Lord God. Let him, let us receive whatever he um, implanted in our hearts, mind, and spirit, Lord God, to manifest it in our walk, Lord God, into our lives and also in others' lives, Lord God. May you restore him for any virtue that are being left him, Lord God. Renew his strength, Lord God. Get him a fresh manner, fresh wind, hallelujah. And let him continue to walk in the path that you have called him to walk in righteousness, Lord God. Bless his wife as she continue to be a steadfast um, shield for him in his walk, Lord God. We bless you in all things. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. All right, so we're going to...